here, Melly. I'm back again with another video, guys. I'm sorry it's been so long, but I'm here to share some news. Your girl took her S HESI exam and she passed. And today I am here making a video on how to score over a 96 on your anatomy and physiology exam. I'm here to help you all. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the video. I remember that I was looking all over YouTube to try to get help to see how I can what I can reference off of to pass my anatomy and physiology exam because science I'm very afraid of science because you know like the science portion of the HESI is sometimes a little bit challenging but guys I've put together some questions today that would help you guys because it did help me so I would like to spread that information and help you guys as well. Um, if you have any videos that you would like me to make next, um, go ahead and comment down below and I will go ahead and try my best to make that video as soon as possible for you. Um, I remember just being so happy when, when they told me I made a 96 because not even physiology is a topic that's very, not a topic, but a subject that's a very challenging because you know there's different things that you need to know so i'm gonna be sharing with you guys exactly what was on my exam for chamberlain um and i hope this video helps all right you guys so i'm gonna get started so i did make a couple of notes on my computer so if you see me looking down i'm looking at my computer here um i would recommend that you guys don't go in details when you're studying for the the hesse exam just make sure you're knowing the basics and make sure you're knowing the basic make sure you understand the concept please do not study do not study just to cramp in your brain because when the exam comes and they word a different things different ways you're not going to understand what that means so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and share some questions that i have written down here um, so make sure to grab a pen, paper, computer, whatever you have. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right. So the first question that I have for you, which bone does not articulate with any other bone? The answer is the hyoid bone. Number two. Which of the following statements best describes the endocrine glands? They secrete chemicals into the blood, growth, metabolism, sexual development, and function. Which organ is part of both the male reproductive system and the urinary system? This is a very important question because this was exactly how it's worded right here. This was exactly on my exam. And the answer is the urethra. All right. Don't confuse this question with this question. The, the following question will be, what structure, structure conducts urine from the kidney to the urinary bladder, the ure, ureter? Okay. All right. Anaerobic respiration can lead to a burning sensation caused by which molecule? The answer is lactic acid. When assessing a female client who described herself as vegetarian and the nurse notes that she has an unusual skin color, the nurse should ask the client if she has eaten a large amount of, the answer is carrot and squash. Which hand position describes an anatomical position of a person who is standing erect with feet forward? The answer is palm facing anterior. This is the anatomical position, so make sure you know this. All right. Which structure is a ball and socket joint? The answer is shoulder. Which anatomical structure houses the malus, the incus, and the stapes? The answer is skull and ear. The pulse point located behind the knee is palpated over which artery? The answer is pop literal. All right. Ceruminous gland secretes airwax. What type of synovial joint is the elbow? The elbow is the hinge, hinge joint. So the answer is hinge. 
All right. Where does digestion begin in the digestive system? The answer is oral cavity. Which cell structure regulates the transport of substances in and out of cell? The answer is plasma membrane. What is the effect of serotonin on a neurotransmitter? It's involved with mood, anxiety, sleep, happiness, and appetite. What is the function of thrombocytes? It's blood clotting. Which structure is located on the sternum? The answer is xiphoid process. So make sure you know that. All right. The occipital region is located in which part of the body? The head and skull. Or the head or skull. Um, either one will be out on the exam. For me, it was the head. So make sure you know that. Which gland is commonly known as the master gland? The answer is pituitary gland. All right. Aspirin occurs when there is a tear in which structures? The answer is ligaments. Aqueous humor is watery fluid in which part of the body? In the eye. Specifically, it's in, in front of the eye between the lens and the cornea. All right. So doris flexion and plantar flexion are type of joint movement that are associated with which part of the body and it's a it's associated with part of the foot it's the foot because sure that you know a little bit about bones um not a lot of questions will come from that so you don't need to know a whole lot just make sure you know this question because this was on my exam okay which part of the brain is involved in auditory functioning and it's the temporal lobe where is the tibialis anterior muscle located? Lower leg. An overproduction of serum can accumulate in which area? And it's the external ear and canals. All right. The olfactory nerve is associated with which sense? And it's smell. Okay. The plane that divides the body into left and right sides is the sagittal. Okay, part of the brain that attaches to the spinal cord is the medulla oblongata. So you need to know that. Which term is used to describe movement of arms and legs away from the midline? So when you think about away, think abduction abduction okay so that's a weight the structure that provides a pulse reading in the neck is the carotid artery what is the function of the Golgi apparatus it's packaging proteins for secretion and transports liquids around the cell so you need to know that because that was on that was i think that was actually the first question on my exam when drawing blood from the antecubital region, which blood vessel is used to obtain blood? It's the median cubital. Right? Just think, when they're drawing blood, where are they going to draw the blood? Right here. All right. So, what is the function of the hypothalamus? It is to regulate balance and thermal regulation. All right. When water molecule move across the cell membrane from the high to low concentration, this process is called, the answer is osmosis. All right. So, what part of the body is the lower back? And the terminology is lumbar. So make sure you're knowing this. What structure of the eye picks out color? It is the retina. The organ of corti is located in the, the answer is ear. Where are, where in the body are nutrients absorbed? And it is the small intestines. 
Tissue repair is enhanced by a diet high in protein. So you know when you're going to the gym and you want to build muscle, you need protein. What are hormones? Hormones are chemical messengers. Alcanius is located in the foot. Just Urinary system in the human body, primary task is to expel waste. What are fingerprints made of? Fri friction ridges. Okay, A, B, C, D of cancer is melanoma. Make sure you know this, guys, because they will try to trick you on that. Which of the following locations would the urinary bladder and internal reproductive organ be found? And it's in the pelvic region. Which one up angle at the joint? And it's extensor. They did word that question a little bit different for me. I think it was like something, um, I think that actually came in vocab. All living things are made up of, the answer is cells. Most obvious skin cancer is basal cell carcinoma. You need to know this, guys. Okay, so active transport requires ATP from self versus passive transport does not require energy. Cartilaginous is connection between articulating bones made up of cartilage. Forget that whole sentence. The whole sentence, forget that. As soon as you see the word cartilaginous, think of cartilage. That's an easy way to remember that. It doesn't get easier than that. All right. Types of asexual reproduction, binary fission, and mitosis. Sebaceous gland secretes what? It secretes oil. What is endocytosis? And what is exocytosis? Okay, so endocytosis, it engulfs, it brings in versus exocytosis, it fuses with plasma membrane and it releases contents outside of the cell. So when you think of endocytosis, think of bringing in. And when you think of exocytosis, just think about taking out. Okay? Exiting. Okay. What does adrenal gland secrete? Cortisol and aldosterone. What is the soft spot on a baby's head? The answer is fontanelle. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but I'm sorry guys if I'm not pronouncing these words correctly. All right. Parts of the sternum. The parts of the sternum, you have the manubrium, the body, and the xiphoid process. Make sure you're knowing that because that was definitely on my exam. Okay. What makes up most plasma? Water. Okay. Polypeptides are chains of amino acids. All right. Ribs are attached to the, the answer is sternum. Okay. What is mitosis? The process, mitosis is the process of cell division that occur in the five stages, pinching two daughter cells in the process called cytokinesis. All right. And what is meiosis? It is to make haploid gametes and production of germ cells. Guys, what I noticed in the ANP exam is probably one or two questions. It had to do with um, biology. Um, but it was it was it was just like two questions I had make sure you're knowing the process of things Make sure you're knowing what everything means. What is the location? Like I mentioned um, The bones make sure you're knowing where the bones is located that I mentioned in the video because this was on my exam And I took my exam like last week. So this is new information. Okay? All right, so I hope those were the questions that I have for you guys. I hope this video was very helpful. I hope that you all pass your exam. I wish you nothing but the best of luck. We're here to help each other. If you have any questions, 
please go ahead and email me. I will list my email down below. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and you can go ahead and shoot me a text through there and I will be sure to respond to you as soon as possible, okay? Um, I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. Thank you all for watching. Bye. See you in the next vlog.